Hey everybody, this is Sprint Central Arkansas. I've decided to give the next generation a go. Uh, due to the demand, people are asking for kits and it's it's just crazy. They take me a while to build, which is sort of why I quit doing them for a while because I've got so much other stuff to do, being springtime, early summer, and, um, and so the, my tomato breeding seedless tomatoes is also taking a lot of my time but that work is progressing so the next iteration of the microgreen kits is to absolutely simplify as much as possible and reduce cost as much as possible so I'm trying to meet uh, what you guys want more kits um, but in a, a format that's not so costly so I've got these here. These you can find on Amazon and they're the kits. And so what I did was uh, they have just about everything you need and I just made the modifications from my kits into these and with the materials being um, less expensive and some other modifications I made, I think, uh, I think we got a good winner here. So let me show you the process. Okay, from the trays that you get online, I've I've taken the same it's got about the same holes as the previous one the same diameter and uh, width you know all that uh, but the process is still exactly the same as my old kits and so this is a medium screen cut to fit these trays I've got broccoli for this grow and I've got my antifungal here now this is a big sprayer that I use and I believe I'm going to um, offer a little vial of uh, antifungal as part of the kits and um, uh, at least one vial for 16 ounces and that will cover three or four grows and you can put it in any sprayer you want so um, you know like a hand sprayer but this one is one that I bought because I was doing them pretty regularly at one point so the process is still the same Put down a medium screen because broccoli is a medium seed and we're going to spray it with the antifungal here and what the antifungal does is it wets the surface so the seed will stick so when you put the, lay the seed down it doesn't bounce all over the place it also allows the seed to coat from the bottom and then when we put the seed on we'll spray it again to coat from the top but most importantly the antifungal see i can smell that oregano wafting up uh, the antifungal keeps disease pressure out almost a hundred percent of the time. I can't remember the last time I had a disease issue. So um, the, the antifungal is made of potassium silicate, potassium bicarbonate, and high-grade oregano oil. And those three, I've got videos up on how to make it, but those three properties or those three ingredients make excellent excellent antifungal anti-disease uh, antivirus all that is just fantastic um, so we wetted it and what we're going to do now is we're going to spread the seed now this was made this particular container was made for the previous uh, size so we're going to I've not measured it but what we're going to do is we're going to put a good bit of seed down here on this without measuring it eventually I'll get to measuring it and I may have it up for I may put it in the video here on about what to put but I may end up using this whole thing I can't remember I think yeah these were made for 1010 so this will be perfect I'll put the whole thing in here so um, that's what I'm doing here I'm putting the seed down and then we're going to wet the seed And uh, just spread it a little bit more evenly. All right, I got another container here. This is the first grow on this concept, this different platform. And uh, the principles have always been the same throughout all of the iterations. So it's, I know it's going to work. 
I'm pretty sure it's going to work. <laughs> and so um, the, there's several things to figure out, like, um, that's probably enough right there, like how much seed to put on it, um, how much air to inject into it, because it's still the same, it still works off of aerated water culture uh, form of hydroponics. But um, the thing about it is, and what I want to show you is that um, if you buy one of these, it's really easy to reverse engineer and all the, the stuff is at your uh, easy grass if you want to do this in bigger. Um, let me spray this with antifungal fungal while I'm talking at the top. But it's all at your grasp if you want to reverse engineer and do it for yourself. I don't know if I'm going to write another book over it. This is the sim most simplified I've ever had it. Um, so anyway, so what I did was I coated the top with the antifungal. Now the seed is completely encapsulated in antifungal. And the antifungal properties um, there's nothing at all that's harmful to plants. I use it on plant starts, uh, new seedlings, uh, to keep algae off of uh, when I'm planting new seeds in the trays, um, in soil and stuff like that. It's just a fantastic thing and none of the ingredients are harmful at all to plants. It can be used at any stage. It doesn't do anything to the plants at all. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on uh, the tray uh, the complete assembly and we're going to um, grow some broccoli so at the bottom of the tray is the reservoir where the aerated water culture is going to uh, foam and, and generate oxygen into the liquid which is what helps the plants grow exceptionally well it also keeps the air in the dome humidified which is perfect for sprouting so I filled this up. Next I'm going to put in the bubbler. There we go. Now that I've got now I've got the tray on here, um, the action has begun. The seeds are ready and we put the dome on here and that will trap in the moisture. So I'm going to put a face towel sometimes called a hand towel over the top of this and all that's going to do is just knock out the um, light which will help supposedly help with the germination so that's it just a regular old hand towel just thrown over the top and that's only going to be on there until the roots go down into the reservoir below and then after that the cotyledons will be ready for light and we can take this off and then once the cotyledons get to the top of the tray we'll take the tray top off and we'll grow them just like we've grown every other uh, IHG microgreens hydroponically and I'll take you along as we go in case you're wondering I don't just slap this stuff together I do trials and tests and I've used this meter, for example, inside the dome, so I know how much humidity um, is within the dome when I do this or I do that or I trial this or I try that and which uh, uh, method of aeration I've used. A lot of people ask if air stones will work. I tried air stones in the beginning. The thing is with air stones, they clog and the point is not to create a lot of small air bubbles the point is to create a mixed aerated water which which bubbles up and pops so it's not about the amount of air or the or the amount the smallness of the bubbles it's about what works consistently air stones are one is they're thick and so the air needs to be at the very bottom of the reservoir so a thicker air stone is going is not going to bubble very well it needs to be well underneath the water so I've tried air stones I've tried various other forms of air injection and what I've come up with is this so there's been all said it, there's been a lot of trial and error to develop the IHG systems 
Uh, but I just wanted to address that a little bit because I get questions about it. Looking good for some pretty old seed. Looking really good. Two days. Let's see what it looks like today. Oh yeah, I can see they're pretty high. Time to take the cover off and bring them into the light. I've already added water. So I've seen it, even though this is being filmed. I've already lifted it and added liquid to the bottom of the tray. So yeah, it's looking really good. And um, like I said, the germination's not the best and that can be easily solved with fresh seed, but uh, I did get fairly good germination and I think it's gonna be a nice grow. Looking very, very good. We're getting closer to the end and um, this looks like it's a very good method as well of growing microgreens the IHG way. So I'll bring you back um, probably in a day or two and uh, I think they'll be ready to harvest. All right, I'm in my grow room and we're gonna do the harvest. Um, please forgive the mess in the grow room. I just got through kind of getting all the plants and stuff out for from previous winter after we got back from our RV trip. But now, uh, this was grown, I'll put the number of days in the video uh, at each point, but uh, including this harvest day, I'm not sure what, how many days this is uh, without looking at the files. But I'm just gonna do a harvest. I'm gonna put them in this here. This is IHG, just adapted in a public format or uh, common trays that you can get online. So let me go ahead and do that, I'm gonna cut it. didn't take long at all um, and this this type of grow tray is more or less for personal use you know you get a couple of these you can just kind of swap micros out and just grow a good healthy good bit of microgreens Hot look I'm just picking it and it's coming right off it's real easy to clean just use your fingertips not the nails although I don't think the nails would hurt either and just rub it across the screen like this and you can take this material which is the short stems and the roots and you can feed them to chickens or uh, goats or whatever other fodder use it as fodder and once you clean that one side the roots come off the other side it's just real easy and then what you can do um, over the sink is you can take and rinse the majority of this off like this use your fingers and then you can take a nylon scrubber it, you know the sponges that come with nylon on one side and you just take a little dawn or other dishwashing liquid and use the nylon side and these come perfectly clean like they're brand new still so that's pretty much it for this this grow is the first grow where i incorporated the ihg uh, technique into uh, the common trays and i got these on amazon there'll be a link at my store the store link is in the description and it just it can take you to where I got these on Amazon doesn't mean you have to purchase from me but if you want to click on the link it'll give me a small commission but like I said uh, the main purpose uh, for me is to show you what I'm using exactly and so it's exactly the same ISG method it's just tailored for absolutely the easiest I can come up with absolutely the the, the fastest way to find materials that are already available and incorporated. So if this is something that interests you, you can buy a, a kit from me and then just reverse engineer it yet because I don't have any dis, um, assembly instructions uh, for how to do it and just reverse engineer it, which is real easy. So this is Brent, you guys. We'll see you later. How long do we gotta stay?